Starting route to Tesco Extra Stockport. Head southeast on Utree Road. Sarah's going car camping. So of course what happens? Sun goes in and the rain comes out. One day, one day I'll have a sunny car camping experience. But it's been so nice the last couple of days. It's been glorious and so I decided I'm going to go car camping. Rain comes. This is a little bit of kind of just one hour run away from reality at home to be honest. <laughs> this this time I'm so sick of the house renovations and the stage that we're at. I've no kitchen, I've no toilet, I've no bathroom, I've no bed, I've no heating, I've no I've no anything at home. So I figured I'm just gonna run away. That's why that's why I've come on this adventure. Oh this house went out anyway. I thought, I don't know how long I'm going to be away for, I might just come away for a night to be honest and so I figured, I've, I've kind of come inland which I kind of prefer to be by the water, by the coast. I was originally going to go up to the Lake District then I changed my mind last minute. I've come over to the Peak, or I will be over to the Peak District. I've been a bit strategic this time though because if you saw my last video where I went up to Scotland, oh my goodness it was such a disaster with car charging and a few times i was like oh my goodness i think i'm gonna just run out of charge so this time before i left i went on my like zap maps app which shows all the different car charging places around the country oh actually i don't know whether it's around the world or around europe anyway it's irrelevant um and i figured when once i decided i was going to go peak district i looked and obviously the peak district is remote there's not many uh, electric car charging places around the peak district so what i've done is drive to stockport i'm currently at stockport tesco i'm going to do a full charge here and get completely charged up i'm not too far away from the peak district i don't actually know how many miles away it is but it's not far the first place that i want to go to which i've completely forgotten the name of right now i can't remember but yeah i'm going to get completely fully charged up before i go any further in my journey so that hopefully car charging is not going to be a theme of this little trip because it was uh, it was a pain before i left i made both myself and steven some lunch i've left his there for him and i've brought mine with me i'm gonna sit here eat some lunch let the car charge for a little while and then i'm gonna get on my way here's my lunch i can't find a fork <laughs> luckily i've just found a spoon in the car maybe i didn't pack a fork i don't know but i've got some broccoli some macaroni with like a tofu and roasted red pepper sauce it's really delicious mm. it's such a tasty sauce Whoa. the car is almost charged it's about 20 minutes away to being fully charged <laughs> the rain. i'm like ready to move on almost i was gonna go for a nice walk Oh, this weather. When are we going to get sun? Oh, I thought I was fully charged. Almost fully charged. And the rain has stopped. We're going to get going. I am in Marple. A place I'd never heard of until this morning. I'm just trying to find somewhere just to park up so I can go on a little walk. I think I'm going to... I mean, anywhere around here would be okay. It's not raining at the moment, but I'm not trusting these clouds. It's pretty chilly, to be honest. So I've brought my coat. Oh no, I think this book bus might be closed. Oh, there's a sign here that I thought I said closed, but it just says heavy plant crossing. I can't get through, but it's okay. That's not the way I want to go. I want to go down here anyway. They're doing some major works on the locks. If you're wondering why here, why have I come here? No rhyme or reason really. I'm just looking at the locks over there. I think there might be a path that goes down. No rhyme or reason. Like I said, I've not heard of this place before today i literally when i was looking at where to go i thought oh peak district 
and then I went on park for night which is where the app that I used to have a little look at it's uh, parking uh, overnight parking and there was an overnight parking spot here so I was like why not there's not really much here it's a cute little village I think there's an aqueduct as well I love a good aqueduct the one in Langollen is amazing I'll link that video if you haven't seen it this place is giving me proper mini Langollen vibes so maybe that isn't an aqueduct maybe that's a rail bridge aqueduct carries water right this is the aqueduct this is so cool as i was walking down i thought that this was not a good spot but now i'm here it's actually really cool. when the old one's gone under the night and i can i shouldn't complain but this would be so much nicer if it was sunny. I'm a Brit. You need a lot of weather talk. <laughs> I really want to get across to the other side and look over. Obviously, I can't. From Answers that question, yeah, it is a train bridge. Right, I need to start thinking about where I'm gonna park up for the night. I had contemplated there is a free car park just up here, and I'd contemplated just going there, but I think I am gonna. I've just been having a little look on the map, and I think. I have found a place that I want to go that's a little bit more into the Peak District. It's only 17 miles away. And so I think I might head there and see what it's like. This is starting to feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere. We are getting pretty high up here. I can feel it in my ears. Wow, look at these views. I'm pretty sure the camera doesn't do it justice, but we are properly in the middle of the Peak District here. Whoa. This is insane. Oh my goodness. This is incredible. What? Where am I? Oh my goodness. Even if this parking spot is rubbish, it was worth the drive. What, where the heck? I don't think that lorry is supposed to come down here. This is incredible. I think the parking spot is like just here somewhere. Oh yes. This is gonna be perfect. I am pretty pleased with this spot. When it's past over there, I'm gonna to have to drive down that again. It was incredible. I feel safe. I had a little concern of heading into the Peak District of whether I would just be like parked on my own. I just don't feel comfortable parked if there's no one else parked around. Like there's quite a few campers here. It's clearly a spot and so I feel like this this is good. There's obviously like no facilities here, there's no toilets, there's no anything like that, but that's fine. This is where I'm gonna be for the night. What time is it? It's like six o'clock with the clocks going forward. It's so much later. Later. Although it Wow, it is so incredibly windy out there. It's bonkers. I've just been out to put my back thing on my window it was a chore let me tell you in the wind in the wind but I think it's all right I think also to be honest I don't need um, what would I put up I'm just thinking whether I'm, I'm gonna put up all my 
sheets and everything, you know, my window screens. I might not bother. I'll see how it goes, see what I think when it gets a bit later on. But there's no way I'm cooking anything. That's something I haven't managed to do yet whilst I'm in car camping, is actually cook a warm meal or even just like reheat. Like I've bought some uh, rice and some chickpeas and different bits and pieces and some soup that I can heat up, but I'm not gonna do it in the car. And I'm not gonna stand out there and do it, wow. So I think it might just be a crisp butty for tea. Ah, oh, this is the life. Squashed up in the back of a car with some bread and some crisps. I love you. Well, that was a nice tea. Not very nutritious, but never mind. I am gonna get ready for bed, I think. It's crazy early, like half past six or something, but I'm not going outside in the crazy wind. I just was having a look in what clothes happened to be in my bag. I didn't pack well at all for this. But I found that I have these like, like a thermally type legging things. I think I might sleep in these tonight because it does feel quite cold with that wind. I did it. I got them on and no one saw me. They're really warm. So I don't know whether I'm going to stay like this all night, but for now, I am going to leave the um, the window coverings off. I'm just kind of lying. Well, I don't even know what position this is, but I'm just going to relax here. I might open my window for the wind to come in and just... Can you hear the wind? It's so crazy out there. Wow. I wonder how, how high up we are. Did I find out? Does Google Maps tell you how high you are? By the way, there's 5G in this spot. Like, full, full bars of 5G. I couldn't figure out on Google Maps. It said that I could just zoom in on, like, the terrain, terrain, what's the, how do you say that word? Terrain, terrain, uh, lines, and there'll be a number, but there wasn't. But I have found it on topographic map. So we're only like 270 metres above sea level. All around me is very high though. I'm going to get properly soaked for the night now. I've decided that I am going to put the curtain across the front here. Maybe that's all for now. Well, that's all I'm going to do for now and then we'll see. It feels weird doing this when it's still light outside. I'm in my sleeping position for the night now. And look, my view. I see sheep. I'm definitely not putting the window covering on, not for now anyway. There we go. Sorted. Right. I'm gonna go to sleep now. I'll, uh, I'll see you in the morning. Hopefully it's a nice peaceful night. It's making me quite emotional. Nice work, people. I can't wipe the smile off my face. It's just so stunning up here. We are well in the clouds. I'm gonna catch up on it.